57. It's a sad day. Uh, you know, we finally got it back home here in Pennsylvania. Ian and Jeffrey brought it home, and they've already started to tear down. But I promised you all that we'd do a YouTube video of it. There's a lot to look at here. There's a lot to take in. This car went through a hell of a lot, and it saved my life. So um, Jeffrey's going to do a walk around of it, show you, like I said, every action had a reaction. Oh, this cage. Yeah, the, the, the carnage, the cage did its job. It's amazing to see how every gusset, every triangle, every bar did its job. And it's just amazing to me. You know, we build them for a living, but you never really get to see one tore up this bad. So um, I've learned a lot by looking at it. And you know what? Um, the next one will be even better. So, and yes, there will be another one, I promise. Um, I don't know the time frame of it, but right now we are in a mad rush to get this motor out because it's okay. And we blew the other one up in the GTO, so we have the spare in the GTO. This one is actually going to be the spare for the GTO right now. So we got we got our work cut out, or we got our work cut out for us. We're headed to No Prep Kings in Columbus, and uh, we're trying to fit this in for y'all before we go. So Jeffrey's going to grab the phone. You guys, just how bad the impact on the side was. Rocker bar got pushed in about six inches. X brace is still good though, it didn't move at all. And actually, surprisingly, none of these lower bars moved at all. The only thing it actually got pushed was the upper cage from whenever it started to barrel roll. But the frame rails are still straight. The funny car cage is still intact. Nothing up here is bent. Like I said, just the A-pillar bars got bent. Everything back there is good. Transmission's still good. Drive shaft. Drive shaft, rear end. Let's try and get away from it so you can see the body. Dan Chuck has sent all the new chrome, quarter panels, roof, um, A pillars, the whole deal. Look, the, even the, even the tail light still works. So later on in time, um, when I have more time, we're gonna take some of this stuff off. Uh, takes we're gonna take some of this stuff off, auction it off. Um, maybe to lessen the blow on the new car. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll give it to charity. But there's a bunch of stuff on this car. It's a piece of history. I cut my teeth on the list with this car, and I haven't been kind to this car. I've crashed it a few times, and this was the last time for sure. Um, we're pretty comfortable in a GTO right now. Things badass on the street. Wait till you see what's coming in store for that. Um, just more carnage. I mean, the car is just totaled. There's nothing good left on it other than the motor tranny. Apparently I hit some wet mud and it probably helped out too. So even the drive shaft's still good. Um, it's just going to be a lot of cleaning, a lot of going through, you know, the race packs in there, the fuel or the, uh, the big stuff's in there. Just, there's a lot of stuff to go, but right now we just wanted to do this video to show you, you know, the devastation that and how the chassis took the impact. Yeah. It's just crazy. Headers are still good. Well, this side. That, well, yeah, right. Oil tank's not good anymore. So, and whenever we start the cleaning of the car and dissecting all the wires, we'll do another video. This is just a short one real quick to just give you an idea of what I went through, what the car went through. And, you know, it saved my life. And it's crazy to see it here, back here in Pennsylvania. But um, this will be its final resting place here. The car won't go anywhere. No, it's not for sale. Um, it'll probably hang upside down inside our new shop next door to the old shop. Um, we'll probably keep this one forever. So thank you for watching and stay tuned.